630. If you travel on I-75 up to Atlanta, you know how long of a commute it can be, all depending on traffic. Oh yeah, that drive can turn very long, very fast. Well, now a conversation is returning to the spotlight about a way to get to Atlanta with no traffic involved. Sign me up. Right. Our morning reporter, <laughs> Wanya Reese, joins us live from Macon's Terminal Station to explain how talks of high-speed rail between Macon and Atlanta could be getting back on track again. Good morning, Wanye. Good Friday morning, Aaron and Caitlin. Back in the day at the terminal station, you would see trains going in and out, heading all across the country. And for decades, there's been conversation here in Bibb County talking about how can we relieve traffic when you're heading up to Atlanta? And it looks like this building right behind me may be the solution. In central Georgia, you can travel by bus, plane, and even in your own car, but a high speed train up to Atlanta is not an option. Like this city needs that, you know, it'd be real convenient for the city. Kevin Rowe says fighting traffic to see his family in Atlanta sometimes makes the trip not worth it. Three days out of the week, you know, you might be stuck in one spot, you know, and it takes you 45 minutes to get somewhere, but you might not get where you need to be till two hours, 45 minutes later, you know, with the train. Now, Bibb County Mayor Robert Rickard is hoping to give the terminal station off Cherry Street new life. The station was acquired under the Ellis administration uh, to be a multimodal hub uh, and to feature a passenger rail as well as uh, regular street transportation. Rickard hopes to see a project like Florida's Bright Line take hold in central Georgia. But the more people who advocate for it and support it and express support for it, uh, the more it tends to, to take off uh, and gain speed and momentum. To make that happen, Macon has joined forces with cities between here and Atlanta so they could push even harder to make high-speed train travel a reality, even though such an effort could take at least a decade to become reality. So I think the future of our community um, lies in embracing transportation options uh, and finding a way to, to make it easier for people to get around an idea people like Rose hopes comes like a freight train. I think it'd be an excellent idea. Now, Rickard says that Atlanta is continuously growing and people need some place to go, rather it be for work or leisure. So Macon is the excellent location. And he pulled out all the stops, Aaron and Caitlin, even tweeting billionaire Richard Branson to see if he could bring a high speed rail service here to Macon. So I don't know about you guys, but it sounds like it'd be a pretty good idea if we could travel from here in Macon all the way up to Atlanta in like less than two hours. Let me know what you think. Live in Macon, Wanye Reese, 13 WMAZ News. And skip the tra traffic. <laughs> Absolutely. All for it. If you'd like more information as we follow the story, just head on over to 13WMAZ.com.